Tune in. Hey, you guys, this is Paris from the Diva Hustle Show. I wanted to jump on here and talk about the important, the importance of having a inventory system in place for your clothing brand. Um, especially if you're starting out, this is really good to have a system like this in place. So as you grow bigger, you're able to track and manage your inventory and see what is selling, what's not selling. So the first thing you want to start off with, you want to start off with a spreadsheet or some type of inventory system. Um, this helps manage your inventory. And also you can set it up however you want to, however you want to do it. Um, you can also put the amount, the amount of money that you pay for each, each particular item from the manufacturer and how much you're charging. And as you do your spreadsheet, you're able to see how much money and profit that you're making. The second is uh, the importance of having an inventory system is that you're able to forecast uh, demand for particular items. That's really key because you're able to see what's selling, what's not selling. So when that next season fall around, you're able to say what you have to order more of and what you have to decrease the amount of volumes that you're ordering for a particular item. Um, another thing you want to do is you want to you want to monitor your inventory levels regularly, like even monthly, weekly is good. Um, because that way you're able to see when an item is dropping below, let's say you have items, you have 10 items left, right? And this is a hot selling item and you're like, okay, I got to order more. Oh my God, what am I do? Especially, you know, the turnaround time for the manufacturer that you're dealing with. Some manufacturers have a quick turnaround time. It could be two weeks. Some manufacturers have a turnaround time of four weeks, but being able to manage your inventory when it's getting low, you know, especially like if, if it's in the beginning of the summer, you just put out bathing suits, right? And you're like, dang, it's, it's May 1st and it's already May 15th and I only have to, like 10 bathing suits. So that right there, by managing it regularly, you're able to get ahead of items and be able to reorder or just say, okay, do I reorder or do I just let them sell out and then, you know, try to promote another item. Another thing that you want to do is you want to um, manage your inventory is important because you're able to see what item is not selling, what item is selling. The items that are not selling, you're able to push um, more like uh, specials on those and push them more forefront. Or oh, And you're also able to um, do special campaigns on social media just to get that inventory um, pushing and moving. Another thing you can consider is when it's managing your inventory, you can consider drop, drop shipping. Drop shipping is also a good, excellent idea because you're not having all the old overhead, right? So you have the item at a specific warehouse. They'll manage it. You'll email them when you get an order, however they do it. They'll drop it to the customer. And that that's, that's really like cost effective. Lastly, the last thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you are doing audits. Audits is really important because, again, you're in the beginning, you're setting up your inventory and you're like, OK, let me say I have 50 shirts. OK, and then you like that 50 shirt should bring me five hundred dollars. Let's say that. And as you're doing your audits, you're like, wait a minute, especially when you have employees. This is really good, too, to have this do audits and managing your inventory because you're able to see what's coming in the door and what's, what's walking out the door. Um, I just know in the beginning I set up I, I, I set up using a spreadsheet. Um, then I did end up using another program, which was a little easier. Um, it just and then the software that I use for the register register that the program that I have, uh, Clover, they're really good in managing because you can put your numbers of inventory and in, they'll send you alerts and things like that. You're able to run reports on a regular basis whenever you want to run a report and see what inventory was selling, what's not selling. But I just think for me as a brand owner, um, setting this up in the beginning is really key. And also like you're able to project, okay, this this item I should be bringing in X amount of dollars. It might be like $20. I mean, not $20, but it might be like $2,000. You know what I'm saying? So you're able to say, okay, well, I need to bring more of this. And if my goal is to hit this, or I need to get people to push this if I want to hit more of that. So just having an inventory in me, I'm just more of a logistic person. And having an inventory, being able to see the numbers is really important for me because I'm able to say, okay, this is what overall we should be making off the items. Now, you're going to have some giveaways and things like that, which is key, but you're able to see your bottom line, what you're able to put out and what you should be making back in profit. 
But again, this is your girl, Tara France. I just wanted to jump in and jump on here and give you guys some tips on how to manage your inventory. Smooch you. Bye bye. Ow, 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 ow,